All right, well, today I decided to give a quick review to this uh, new beer that just came out the other day called American Patriot Light Beer. And this is brewed by the All-American Beer Company in St. Louis, Missouri. And I think the actual brewery is up in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. I think it's called the uh, City Brewery, if I'm not mistaken. And I was turned on to this. It's not available everywhere yet, but I, I picked some up in the St. Louis area. And uh, this is the light version. They've got a, a regular lager and a light lager. And I find it intriguing because the story that I heard is that this is uh, backed by a gentleman named John Beale, who's a, a St. Louis businessman who was, uh, he was made upset by the um, purchase of Anheuser-Busch by InBev. Uh, and the fact that some of the other large breweries in the U.S. are are owned by overseas companies, so he decided to get a team together to brew an American beer that's owned by an American company in America. So I thought that was pretty cool. So that's you know the name American Patriot. I don't know if this is going to be available everywhere or when it will be available everywhere. I do notice that on the bottle it does have uh, you know the cash redemption value in a variety of different states. Uh, Connecticut, uh, Maine, New York, Oregon, Vermont, you know, Louisiana. So, you know, it sounds like there's definitely plans, or at least they didn't want to print a new label. You know, that's probably pending. I'm not sure that that's, you know, ready or not. But, um, as you can see, the light version, is it's got a good golden color. I'm not a beer genius. Um, I've drank my share of beer. There's beers that I like. I'll describe it as best I can. I will tell you that I, I like the beer. It uh, My normal drink, from a utilitarian standpoint, I drink some Budweiser products. You know, on a hot day, you want something to cool down, you grab a Bud Light, I find that kind of refreshing. I like some of the Michelob beers. Uh, I like a Bud Select um, in that flavor range. When I'm really going to enjoy a beer, there are some European beers that I like. There's a German beer called Stiegel which is a golden lager as well. I like the lager, especially in the summertime. But I also really like uh, the Sam Adams products, the, the Sam Adams Summer Ale. Uh, there's another St. Louis beer called Schlafly Summer Lager. And, and those are more craft beers. And this kind of spans the gap. I don't, I don't consider it a, a utilitarian beer, and I don't consider it a craft beer. I think it's unique. I think it's got a good flavor. Uh, it has more body and a more hop flavor than than the Budweiser, definitely Bud Light, or a Coors Light. A Coors Light to me is about as watery as you can get. Um, but it, it's got very good drinkability, and it's light enough to where you could drink a lot of these on a nice warm summer day and not feel, you know, super bloated and super heavy. It's got a, a good clean finish. And, um, you know, an analogy that I'll use is there's certain barbecue that has a lot of sauce and certain barbecue that has a rub, and, and this to me is more like a rub. It's kind of a, it's not a very sweet beer. Um, it's got more of a malt flavor and uh, just a little bit of the hop flavor, but I think it's very good. It's priced kind of between the, the utilitarian beers and the expensive imports. I know they're trying to keep it on a price point that makes it attractive, but um, I recommend it. So if you get a chance to try American Patriot, I think uh, if you if you enjoyed, you know, mass-produced American beers, and you don't like the fact that they're made somewhere else now, or they're, they're at least the ownership of the companies are in different countries, and you want to support an American company, give it a try. I think you'll like it.